we are continuing the side quest sweep. I think we were making our way counterclockwise around the galaxy. Let's hit the mass really up. And Eel Nebula. Yeah, we've done all of these. Finished in Ilium. Or the Crescent Nebula. I think this is the last one we've got on this side of the map. So we've got Relic in Amun. Oh, Relic. Relic? 0%. Oh, it's in a different place, man. Look, it's just been hid, hidden by the the words mass, really. I was thinking, is, is there a quest called Relic? Okay. Right, what's in here? No anomaly. This looks like it's, it'll have element zero on it. Maybe not. Just normally when you see these like metal bands. Oh look, it's got massive amounts of that. Launching probe. probe right, away. let's leave this. This planet's called Murky Water. I don't think we're gonna get any anomalies in this. Quite a few planets, though. Got to be a few down here. Oh, look at that baby one. Rough tide. Who named these planets? It was the humans. Launching probe. Oh, and there's the last one over there. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be nothing here. Beach Thunder. Whoa. Not really bothered about that. I don't think we need to scan anymore. I'm not going to scan anymore. If I need any more Element Zero or other things, I'll just get it later. Right. That's that cluster cleared. A moon. I have detected an anomaly. Ah. General distress. Beacon process interrupted. Translation error. Status of system operator is not known. Gen scans have found something. Surface scans indicate wreckage of a merchant freighter. Configuration unknown. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement but no signs of organic life. Let's do it. Oh, there's the crush freighter. A sandstorm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. Sandstorm. A Darud sandstorm. Right, wait there. Gara Snipe, you Assault, Armour Pearson and Incendiary. Right, we're all ready to go. Looks like there's going to be a big battle here. Who or what? System Status Report. Oh, look, we can go up there as well. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element Zero exposure levels critical. Fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Manual control of navigation impossible. VI control locked out by executive command. Krat. 
43279. Short radius sensors offline, unsafe planetary proximity, detected at 0700 hours. Life support, returning to safe levels. VI control locked out by exec- ah. Shields holding at 100%. Combat and potential contagion. Oh shit. Damage to communications are very critical, activating distress beacon. So something happened and the they were locked out by some higher authority maybe to contain whatever's really happened. Salvage mech parts, where's that? Here it is. Oh, you can't go any further. Are these butterflies? Are they ashes? I think they're ashes. I'll check the other side. Doesn't look as if there's anything triggering on the the hood here. Oh, they're a proper fact, mate. I think it's probably going to be husks or something. What do you reckon? Attention all hands. We are on a collision course and losing systems fast. Report to the escape pods immediately. This is not a drill. Or we might not get to fight anything that was on the ship but we might find scrappers or you know what I mean people that want this stuff so it's not organic. Maybe someone did this on purpose to crush whatever was here. Fourteen crates of reflective mech armor. ERCS facility. Han Kado Experimental Mechanics Division. 180 Loki mechs in one Waimea mech. Okay, we're building a fucking army. Right, let's go, let's deactivate this beacon. Oh, it's up there, man. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Where? Immediate extraction. Oh, I see them. Get wrecked. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yes. It's a shame you can't see the head the health bars from such a long range. Light it up. Excuse Too far. Me. Watch this. I'm gonna get him with that, do you reckon? Oh, what a shot! Oh, look, the, the dust cloud's coming in. Why don't we push up? Feel the rage! Team, come on. Hostile. We have to kill 180 of them. I 
I think we just have to escape, you know. I don't think there's anything else to do. I was hoping for the fight the big boss. Oh fuck, maybe maybe I spoke a bit too soon. Fuck me. Can't aim around the corner. Lights up. Oh, I tried to Michael Jackson and Shamu, but I wasn't fast enough. Get ready. What the hell? I'm gonna die. I died. No way. That cover was not cover. <laughs> that cover was the worst cover I've ever seen. Oh my god, that cover. Yeah, I could I was, even though I was on the corner of that, I couldn't like flick around to shoot that the button wouldn't work. I was sabotaged. Okay, at least we know what, what to expect. I need to just stop being a bitch. I played that mission like a bitch, I did deserve everything I got. So right, come on in. Watch this. This is how we do it. Let's t I think this side's got the best cover. What less to worry about? There it is. I'll put them down. Oh, Garrus took it right in the balls. Oh, Garrus is dead. Get ready. Hey, hold on, let me get my shield back. What the fuck? Fucking hell, man. Look, what's he doing? <laughs> the guy's body popping all over. He was not happy about this. Why is this Why is this mission so fucking hard? Maybe this, the spawns are finite. And we should just... I, I got a sense that the spawns might be infinite for the little mechs. Let's not get ambushed. It's a ambush. Hardest mission I've ever played in my life. It's not even hard. I should not be a retard. Right, you go there. You go there. I'm gone here. Right, let me get my shield back. I think we're good here. I can't see anybody else. But he has the mech. So they've got my flank, that's good news. Get wrecked, bitch. Alright, we're, we're, oh, we're in the clear. Right, come on, team, let's go.
Right, there was something else. Oh, there was something over here. That's it. Give me that. Oh, then don't die, don't die. I think we're clear. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh. Feel the blood rage. Feel the wrath. I'll kill these guys first. I think they might be infinite though. Right, let's go. Whew. Yeah, that's no joke. I think that mission's a lot harder when you don't have a lot of people with, like, shield damage, which we don't. The biggest weakness to our team is the ability to take down shields. Good stuff. Right. On to the next van. Two system. Oh, we there. Let's quickly check out all the other planets. So we've hundred percent of it, so we don't have to come back. So back. Techmet. Wait. Let's have a quick check of this. This looks. No. Oh, I thought. Do you know what? I just. By the look of the the world, I was could kind of tell there was going to be element zero there. Oh, where is it? Come on, baby. There we go. Here's an now. Launching probe. That might be it. Oh, wait there, last one. Right. Oh, oh, one more planet. Oh, there it is, over to the right. To the next system and beyond. We'll go to Malgus and then we'll be finished. Oh no, look. Investigate abandoned station. What's that? At the bottom there. We'll find out in a minute. That's weird. I don't think there's going to be anything here. Nah, I think there's going to be a, a desolate system. Yeah, right, wait, wait, what we'll do is... Blood Pack Base. Ah. Is that it there? Shrike Abyssal. We must have picked, I don't know where we picked that up from. Shrike Abyssal. Now that's Strabo. Come on then, we might as well go there. Investigate the abandoned station. Have used half our fuel. Aha. Garhe Station. Data mining confirms the last reported location of the merchant freighter MSV Corsica as the Jarius station in the Starbow system possibly exists that clues pertaining to the anomaly that caused the mass malfunction of the mechs aboard the Corsica can be found here. Ah, oh, so 
This is the location of the possible malfunction of the mission we've just done. Right, let's dock. Mass Effect 1 did this really well. There's a couple of quests where you locate them on a planet and it sent you somewhere else. This is the first time we've had that happen. The side missions anyway. I want to change my sniper as well. I do like that battle rifle, but sometimes I just like one big shot, and that's what the other. Oh, everyone's dead. Escape Jahe Station. Well, can we not just go in the way we came? Then we've technically escaped. Okay, Garrus, you're going that mode. Switch it. Up. Right, bulletproof glass. Let's go. I love creepy, desolate space stations like this. It's just something magical about it. Magical. Do Dr. Galwin, two seconds. Sorry about that lads. Hey, just today seems to be the day where I'm the most popular man in the universe. <laughs> it's just like telephone calls. What do you feel at the door? It's crazy, right? Okay, so where were we? Dr. Galwin, at my suggestion, we have cut power to all systems, save critical life support, in hopes that disabling these systems will deny the VI the resources she needs to kill us. This is a temporary solution. We cannot last this out on our own. Dr. Tailsin. Dr. Tailsin. Now the thing is, last episode, when, well sorry, not last episode, but the hell, early on in the episode, when uh, those VIs were being overridden by a, a higher up command, I did think it might be a rogue VI, because Mass Effect love rogue VIs. It's just, it's what they do. And this is why you, AIs can't be trusted. Let's fuck shit up. Even if, even if you want to argue that they are fully aware and conscious, it's just too much of a risk to take. Like, I know that people say, oh, everyone's got rights. Well, they don't, do they? If you created them and then they become self-aware, then you've got every right to take them out. Docking area power restored. Intruders are requested to report to the cargo doors for immediate removal from station. <laughs> immediate removal from station. What is that? Door. Yeah, I don't... If, if AIs and robots, like for example, Detroit become human, if that really did happen, then... Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in this area. Then you would have to kill them all. Simple as that. Dr. Galwind, my firm belief is that the VI is paranoid about the possibility of infection. Its current homicidal behavior is likely out of an inflated desire to keep us from shutting it down. I believe that the VI is malfunctioning and that it believes our equipment to be infected by a virus. If we continue to try and shut her down, she will keep trying to destroy us. Maybe our only recourse is just to do nothing and convince her that we're not a threat. Dr. De Tailsin. I'm wondering if that guy's alive, if she's got him imprisoned or something. Power outage so we can't get in. Well, three possible routes. Oh, what is this shit? Oh, are we gonna get hooked up to that? What is... Hold on. Is that someone in there? No, I thought that was two little blue eyes. But it's not. There's nobody actually in there. Come on then. Research area power restored. Beam engaged. Testing area has been locked down according to protocol M29-2. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Okay. So what am I actually supposed to be? The beam's coming out of there. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. Oh no, the beam's coming out of there. Reflective 
protective armor prototype repositioned. Then it's straight through to there. And then if we turn that. Reflective armor prototype repositioned. I don't know what I'm doing by by the way, but Reflective Imagine we've got to get to hit that. Testing area has been Oosh. unlocked. Aha, so we have to blow it up. All personnel that. take this opportunity to leave the station immediately. That is the solution for everything though, isn't it? Just blow it up, son. Light it up! I'm a firm believer of the light it up policy. Plasma venting in progress. Attempting to reach the maintenance controls will most likely result in serious injury or death. I'm sure it will. Kennings, I'm positive that the trouble with our VI started after the Corsica docked with us. Telson is looking into the VI itself. In the meantime, I need you to go through the logs and find out everything that was on that ship, Dr. Galwin. Do it for some reason. The Corsica rings a bell. It wasn't the ship that we just found, was it? I kind of think it might be off something off Mass Effect One. The Corsica. I don't know why, but the name Corsica. It doesn't ring right with me, it sounds spooky. It sounds like death. Shield down. I'm dying. Garrus, are you dead? Garrus is 100% dead. Now they're both dead. It's funny because they're just going to keep coming back to life because there's no enemies here. Maybe I was wrong about that. Garrus bro? Oh there we go everyone. I can hear some... I, I just heard some mechs boot up. Enjoy your steam sauna lads. Must be nice for some. Next area is the last place we can go and then I imagine we're going to be able to boot this up. No. Attention all docks personnel, we are expecting a shipment of mech parts from the Hankada facility on Capek, Haskins Titan Nebula. Make sure the VI knows to accept a docking request from the freighter MSV Corsica. Titan Nebula, we might have to go there next. We'll just make sure to check our side quest log once we finish this mission. Right, there's... We need to get in there, that'll be the last place we go. Oh, that's just a PD in another room. Living area power restored. The living area doors have been closed to quarantine a threat to this station. Advise intruders to engage self-destruct procedures to avoid death by starvation. <laughs> that AI is awesome. Just like, yeah, we advise you to kill yourself so you don't starve. Right, we need to open that door and that door. One door enabled. Three doors enabled. Two doors enabled. Five doors enabled. That was easy enough. I didn't, I didn't know if there was any particular reasoning behind that, but we did it. Right, this is going to be it. We've got access to the... All Should we look... Intentionally violated power this up. Are requested to exit the station immediately. Hub area power restored. Central mainframe access granted. Docked vessel detected. Attempting to upload central programming into docked vessel's mainframe. Oh shit! It's trying to take over our vessel, the Normandy. Intruder detected. You are not authorized to be in 
this area. This is a secure zone. Please leave this station immediately. No. I regret to inform you that all attempts to defend the station have failed. Shutting down security protocols. We didn't even get a choice. I was hoping it was going to say, oh, do you want to leave the, the VI, find out what the backstory? It was just, nah. Rogue VI, shut it down. I would have shut it down anyway, don't get me wrong, but... <laughs> don't get me wrong about that. I need to check the side quest to see if that... What's me anyway? There. The blood pack base. Weapons manufacturing facility. I, I, I don't know where I'm picking these up for. The blood pack base. Where did I get that from? Wait, there's one other planet in this system. I think it's just that in it. Let's see if there's anything good on this. I doubt it. Moderate. Nah. That's 100% it is. Right, let's get back to the mass relay. We'll fuel up and then head out. I think I am still going to go in the, the clockwise fashion. Because it's easier to keep track of where we are and what we're doing. Oh good we're going here anyway. The Shrike Abyssal, destroy the blood pack base, we'll do that. Just so happens to be where we're headed. There it is. Zisha. Now the Blood Pack do have a lot of Vorsha. I think that's the mercenary group that hires the Vorsha. Oh, it's a Krogan. Krogan and Vorsha. That's right. I wonder if Grunt will have anything to say. One point. Nah, we can't do anything. But I am going to change my sniper rifle up. I do like this sniper. But something I just don't feel it does enough single shot damage. I like this. We'll give it a shot anyway. Because sometimes you don't want to hang your head out of cover all the time. You just want to pop up, headshot, go back in cover. It's a lot safer. I am detecting a large power source inside the base. It is probable that destroying it would disrupt the entire facility. Oh, hello. Oh, this looks nice. Another mission whose landscape reminds me of Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, he's got the pistol out again, wait there. I need a sniper. Wrong button. Wait for this to recharge. Then I need... Thought rifle. Affirmative. Push. Push. Seems a bit quiet. Oh, what a view! Right, wait there, I don't know how quiet this is because I think we've got... Battle music. Kalusk. I'm sending back two of the Vorsha you sent me so that you can see what I'm dealing with out here. I suggest you not arm these morons. These piss poor shots are more likely to blast the broadside of one of your generators than hit the antenna targets. Maybe once you understand what I'm dealing with, you won't be so quick to mock me when I ask for some goddamn assistance. Salamo. Oh, hello. Nice shooting. Nice shooting, son. See, that's what I like. One shot, one kill. Touchdown. 
Oh, you fucker. Too late. Now you're dead. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Fire in the hole. Oh, lit him up. Oh, where the fuck's that? Blood pack trooper. See, one headshot killed that guy in all of his armor. I like this gun. I think I just got excited before that we had a a single shot, high rate of fire sniper rifle, but don't really like it. No, I think anything would have killed them. They haven't got much health at all. Some of my Vosha have gone missing. I need more if you expect us to get this work done on schedule. I don't care how you get them. Ask Gorm. Ah, oh, Gorm again. For his extras. He has to have some cast-offs that are good enough for mining duty. We're going into the mines. Wait for it. Oh shit, I missed. Doesn't matter, these guys are fucking crashing. Whoa! Fuck you. These shields. Get wrecked. Last bullet. Made it count. That's the only problem with that sniper though, is it runs out of ammo dead fast. I suppose you get the kills though. As long as you don't miss. Oh, there we go, Krogan. Right, concussive blast. Oh, everybody's on cooldown. Sit down, you muppet. Oh, fucking hell. I love this one. I like. Would you look at that? We gotta destroy these containment cells. I think this is what we need to do to blow the base up, don't we? I'll right, give it a shot. Evacuate shit. Oh shit, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realise that's what we were doing. This looks interesting. That's it. Heavy weapon upgrade. Like, the start of that mission seemed awesome, like the blood pack base. It was a very small cliff ledge with two fucking containers to blow up. See, it's quest like that. That's, I did, I did enjoy it, but it's a bit shit in it. Really, like it's, it, it was a bit crap. Okay, then any more? No, right, no new side of quest. So let's just explore this galaxy. Should be two more to find. Fifty 
57. Earl Arast. Isn't that weird if there's only... Oh, it doesn't take into account how many there's here. I was going to say, well, how is it 57% if there's two clusters in this galaxy or whatever that's called? It's probably because there's more planets in Zisha than there will be in Earl Arast. It's probably split down by planets in the whole area. No anomaly? Give me a quest. This looks like a... I bet you this has got element zero on it. It looks the sort of planet. They look... I knew it! I knew it! I'm awesome at spotting these planets. The pla... You know what is? The planets that look like they could... Have humans in them. Launching probe. If it looks habitable, it's probably got element zero on it. That's what I've noticed anyway. Probe away. I'll do me. Last one. Nah, nothing. There was nothing. Turn that system down. Where are we going next? Valhalla Threshold. Hourglass Nebula. Well. The Hourglass Nebula. Oh look, Disable Infected Production Line. See, didn't I say there was something that Titan Nebula, but it didn't appear as a side quest? But we'll do that later, because we are working our way... Well, I suppose we could... We'll do this one now, since it makes sense with the quest we've been going. And then we'll do these two next. Come on then. Disable the Infected Production Line. Save Crash and Ship. When did all these become available? Look, did I or did I not look at my journal? Look, there's nothing here. But it appears on the map. Very strange. Right, we'll do this one first then. Haskins. Is this the only thing that's here? Look, this is the only thing that's here. There's nothing else in the system. Capek. I have detected an anomaly. Be warned. The experimental mechanics facility is under quarantine. For your safety, do not launched. dock with... I have found something. Experimental. I like the sound of that. I hope we get to see some new robots. Oh, hello. Launching Come on then, let's take him down. Been all about the robots this episode. Well, aside from them blood packs. Shut it down, so this is that. Hain Kado. Now, Hain Kado made a lot of the weapons in Mass Effect 1 because each weapon type, sorry, each weapon varied from manufacturer. Kind of, kind of looked back like Borderlands a bit, although not as diverse. Yep. Got it. Dog. Dead dog. Hostile mechs incoming. Allied 
Fucking shut the door, Nath. You're hitting me, Shepard. What? I made. I hit the target as well, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, homie. Right, lads, come on, let's go. Sorry's. Potential all personnel, our new circuit board supplier has issued an immediate recall on the MX75528 obedience processor. Yeah, that's the bit of the, the robot I kind of want to get right. Which has been found to cause systematic breakdown of associated components. We began to search for a new supplier. In the meantime, discontinued the use of it until further notice. For your information, we con lost contact with the MSV Corsica. After you expressed concern, I checked the logs and indeed the mechs in parts they picked up contained the recalled OPUs. We know the Corsica was headed for the Jahar system on the Strabo system, but we can't seem to contact them. I hope they're all okay, but I think we're doing all we can at this point. I'm getting reports of the mechs coming off our production lines and assaulting workers. Some of them are self-destructing at random. We are containing this as best as we can. Dr. Rochelle has ordered a complete lockdown. You hereby order to seal the production lines access corridor from the rest of the facility. It has been an honour to work with you. So if we'd have came here first, we would have... Oh, champion. We would have found the other locations anyway. Because they all give... all point you in different directions. Fuse C. Fuse. Fuse. Bosch. Give me that money. Oh, that was locked. You think anyone's still here? Maybe. I've located the Asari Dr. Talarison in the production line access corridor. We set up a barricade and disabled access to the rest of the corridor. That's from Gamble. I secured Dr. Talas Talarison and I'm heading into the warehouse to access the production line control room. I'm in the warehouse, seems pretty empty. Sir, I can see the control room just above the storage area. I might need a few minutes, but I'm pretty sure I can get that main production line shut down. Kind of looks like you might have been successful. They've seen us. On it. Going to ground. Hostile forces have engaged. Got it. On my way. Right. Yeah. Where's the robots? I can hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, fuckers. Backup systems engaged. Excuse me. I wanted that headshot so bad I was willing to risk my life for it. Right team, I want you to get up there. I'm on it. Scratch one. I'm on it. Behind you. Behind you, behind me. I want that element zero. Excuse me. Area Overlord watches. Boom! I'm wondering if I would be doing more damage with my level 2 disruptor ammo. I don't think I will, to be honest. Got it. Understood. Right, Shepard. On my way. Lock to my lip right. Affirmative. Oh, fucking hell. Are these infinite? It does seem quite random when your grenades knock people down. 
it doesn't always do it. Like it worked there. Right. Right. I'm with you. Too late. Now you're dead. You see the grenade went between the boxes. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't try and I couldn't have got that grenade through that box gap if I tried. Nothing can hurt me. No, excuse me. Oh shit, there's more. More, sir. Data pad, where is it? I've already read that data pad. Oh shit, export. Is not good. Quite the gaunt at that. Oh, so we're going up. This should be the the control room. There it is, production line shut. So they didn't make it. Where's the dead bodies? Hmm. Little bit of white. Ah, uh, where is it? There it is. Big bit of orange. Can't see it. There it is. And finally a little bit of white. Oh, same, same one as the first, done. I've got it. Oh great. Self-destruct. Like New Year's Eve. Now is that the end of that quest? Like completely? I think it might be. We've done everything. We shut the AI down. We found the cross ship. Eradicated all them. And killed the manufacturing facility. Gotta be. Right then lads. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, well, that's handy. Zeta band ZHA system. We have decrypted and analyzed the data you recovered from the relay of Tarith. The resources mined on Tarith were being sent to Zaraban. Well, that's the blood pack facility that we've just, just cleared. So we've disrupted that. Location coordinates. Ah, so that's what. So once you do a quest, sometimes you get a, an email to give you coordinates of somewhere else. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Done that. Source of VI virus detected. Done it. Update on the kid. Oh, this is the kid. This is a. Um, the in son. Hey, Shepard, I just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me. Help me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. 
Not perfect, but then what is? Don't worry if your drill and mine are talking. I, sorry, don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it, it took. Good luck out there, Bailey. Okay, so whether the kid wants to speak to Thane or not is a different matter altogether, but he's doing all right. Pointless that. Only for teammates. Teammates have got infinite bullets. I might as well get that. 500. By a duration, go on then. This is all what Element Zero is for, isn't it? Just biotics. Oh, look, biotic cooldown. Don't even use biotics. Right, I'll just leave. I'll get it. I'll use bio. And now we should be able to get this M920K and 25,000 iridium. Go on then. I don't know whether I should get the Krogan shotgun for him. He never really uses shotguns, if I'm honest. Modern Omni Tool. Eh. Three thousand element zero. Go on then. Danny element zero. We've got loads of it now. Oosh. Happy days. Well, massive amount of upgrades there. I suppose if we need to use Samara or Jack, they're going to be an absolute beast now. Right lads, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Going on next episode. I've cleared that. Yeah, we're going to continue exploring the galaxy for side missions. And then once we've done all the side missions, it's main mission story all the way to the end. See you there lads.